You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hello, welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. For about the last year, I have filmed these weekly segments with the mega talented Gary O'Mark behind the camera. We have featured CNAs who have performed CPR on strangers, jumped into deep moving and swift water to rescue drowning children, rescued others from burning houses or horrific car accidents. These CNAs have saved lives both on the job and off. They are truly CNA heroes. Sometimes though, a CNA hero is born of a situation that causes them to take action, to take a stand and help others that are often cast off by society. Today's CNA hero did just that. Thank you to ABC Jet 24 and YourEerie.com for initially publishing this story. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, every day more than 130 people die after overdosing on opioids. I'm going to repeat that. Every day more than 130 people die from overdosing on opioids. That includes prescription pain pills, heroin, and the synthetic opioids such as fentanyl. This disease is a serious national crisis that affects public health and also social and economic welfare. It impacts all of us. The state of Pennsylvania has been particularly hard hit and the governor generously authorized the free public distribution of naloxone, more commonly known by its brand name, Narcan, a drug that blocks the body's opium uptake, reversing an overdose as it occurs. Naloxone can save lives, and it is available as both a nasal spray and an injection. Norman Newman is a CNA in Erie, Pennsylvania. She was in line at the County Blasco Library in Erie, Pennsylvania for a free naloxone kit. When asked why she was in the line to pick up naloxone, Norma stated that she was on her drive home from work when she saw two bodies lying motionless in the grass. As a CNA, she felt compelled to stop and see what was going on and try to help these individuals. She stated that she didn't know what was going on until the police arrived. If she had had the naloxone, she says one of the gentlemen may have survived. Both of these individuals had overdosed on opioids and did not make it. After learning such a painful and difficult lesson, she says that she plans to keep the medication on her at all times despite the stigma. We don't know what they're going through and what their life is, Norma stated, that somebody needs to be there to help them. For standing up for what is right, even sometimes standing alone, Norma Newman, you are a CNA hero. So everybody, please join me today in celebrating a brave woman, Norma Newman, CNA hero.